viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If, if you are new here, you are highly welcome. And for all subscribers, it's really good to have you guys back. I love you all. For this training, I'll be teaching you this wonderful design. Please stay tuned. For this design, I just cut out two fabric. And this particular one I'm holding is for the card base. And the length measures 23 inches. My own hair circumference is 22, so this material is not too stretchy, so I added 1 inch. So 23 inches length by 16 inches width, 23 inches length by 16 inches width. So this part facing me is the front, and this is the back part. And I've already marked out for my, for my band. The band measures 5 inches, 5 inches. And don't forget, my length part is the stretchy part. That part of your material that is stretchy. That is the length part. Alright, I won't be cutting out, please. This particular material, I will not be detaching my band from the base. I will see everything together. Normally, we do cut out the band separately. But this, I'm not using my scissors to cut out. Just look at me, how I will sew my band. So after using your pin to hold down, you seal this edge. You're going to sit down. So I'm done with my, you can see the outcome, right? Alright, this is the front part and this is the back. You can remove the pins. If there's anyone remaining on the cap base. So next thing you'll be doing is, you turn the back side facing you, make the wrong side. That place you seal will be facing you. Then, you join the band together with a pin. Is why I'm doing this is for the benefit of beginners. So you make sure that you hold the materials very well. Alright, what I'll be doing next is with my measuring tape, I'm going to mark out from this point. From this point, you can see it right. From this edge, I'm going to mark out three inches. Three inches. This is what will give me a guide on how to curve my cut base. Yes, you can see what I'm doing, right? Right, you curve it down. Then, once I'm done with the curve, I'm going to use my scissors to cut out this edge. After trimming that off, next thing you'll be doing is to go to your sewing machine and sew please sew from this point from that band area you go down like this to this point all right i'm done with mine you can see the outcome right then you can remove your pins you can remove it so next thing i'll be doing is to form my gathers i'll be forming my gathers with my needle and thread
Right, done with the cabbies and I'm done forming the gathers and everything is ready. So our toban cabbies is ready. Right, the next material we'll be working on is the material we'll be using for the design and it's quite long. Yes, it's quite long. And this material measures 60 inches length or 58 inches length by 7.5 inches width. This is the wrong side and this is the right side. We'll be working on the right side. The right side will be facing you. Just fold the way I'm doing now. And you see from this point. Please watch carefully what I'm doing. Leave this part open. You understand? Then you see from this edge. Using your sewing machine. You go down. You go down. Till you get to the end of this material. And once you get to the end, you're going to stop here, leaving the edge open. I'm done with mine. I'm done sewing. So next thing I'll be doing is I'll be using my chalk and my measuring tape to mark down one inch. Just watch what I'm doing. You continue to mark down one inch, one inch down till you get to the end of this piece. One inch, one inch. Please mark carefully. Mark carefully, be very careful here so you don't mess up your fabric. So I'm done with my you can see the outcome, right? And next thing I'll be doing again is to go under to go under the same thing I did on top. Do it again. You mark one inch. Make sure this one you are marking aligns with the one on top. Be very careful here. Okay, I'm done with the whole marking. Please, you can use your picking chair scissors or your zigzag scissors to cut. But here, I'll be using my ordinary scissors. So, the next step I'll be taking is to cut on that line. You can use your ruler to mark down, but I didn't do it. So it's not really necessary for me. So, what I'll be doing is to cut down on that line. Please follow my steps as I do so. If you watch closely, you've seen that I've cleaned off those white marks. You can see the front and you can see the back. The well, next thing we'll be doing now is to form the design proper. And I'll be using my glue gun. So next thing I'll be doing is to use my glue gun and my candle gum to form the design. But we have power failure on my area. So instead of doing nothing, <laughs> I have to improvise. So I'll be using the manual method to form this design. So I'll be using my candle and my candle gum to form this design. Please watch carefully how I form this beautiful design.
Right, at this point, you'll be mounting pressure. You can see I'm doing it, right? Please use your hand to press it very well so the candle gun will be able to grip it and this outcome of the design. Right, I've placed my banker base on my dummy head and I'm positioning the design at the center of my dummy head. Please, you are free to put yours anywhere you want. Can put it by the side you can put whether the right side or the left side but i'll be putting mine on the center so i'll bring it down from the tobanka base by holding it firm holding that design firm and i'll tack on the table please tack down the one i'm doing use your needle and thread to tack this design to your cap base you are free to use your candle gum to gum it down but I personally, I prefer tacking. The reason is so it will last long. can see the outcome and I'm done with tacking so this point where you can still see spaces use a candle gum to glue it down all right so I'm done with gluing and tacking everything is ready and our turban cap is fully designed next thing I'll be doing is to apply my applique you can use your stones your pails anything that comes to your mind that can use to boost the design. All right, I'll be using all these designs, though not everything, but I'll apply virtually many stones, applique, flowers. I don't know anything that comes to my mind that is on this table. I'll be using it to beautify it. Please, you're free to use anyone you see. Remember, creativity is the key. Yes, creativity is the key. What matters is after designing yours, it should it should look superb and it will look so appetizing. All right, so I'll use my candle gum to glue everything down, and I'll show you the outcome. Thank you for staying to this time. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? See, guys, I'll be posting wonderful designs. Also, click on that notification bell after subscribing, so you'll be notified whenever I post any new video. And to all my old subscribers that stayed up to this time, you guys are the MVP. To the new members that joined to this time, I love you all. See you next time.